this is my Parker hydraulic motor that came off of uh, a TX420 Dingo. And um, this is what it looks like. These bolts on the back, if you loosen the, them up, you can uh, disassemble, disassemble the various uh, pieces of the motor. Uh, before you do that, uh, you might want to score the, uh, the side of the... Uh, motor here so you can align all the pieces back up how they uh, came off originally um, so that should be uh, pretty helpful to uh, do before you do disassembly on my unit right here this uh, is bearing right here I had to get pop it out because it uh, was going bad and uh, basically gonna put this this new bearing on the unit and uh, that's what it's gonna look like uh, once I put this shaft back inside the motor here and um, my next step is I'm going to tap the, uh, the bearing into the end of the motor there and then uh, followed up by I'll be putting these uh, washers and spacers um, on the inside of the back end of this piece and then once once those parts get put in on the inside I'll take this shaft here and this bearing and um, seal, seal will be off of the shaft here and I'll put the uh, the shaft in the back part of this uh, piece and then it will come out the front and then uh, I can put the uh, seal on that and then the bearing will be already in the in this housing here held in nice and tight and I'm gonna put pack this uh, bearing with some grease make sure it's all greased up nicely and then also there's a uh, an inner, inner bearing here that uh, was good so I'm not going to replace that one at this particular time while I reassemble the uh, the motor so I will uh, give you an update on some of these other pieces So, um, I pounded in the uh, outer bearing. I used this, um, what was it, 34 millimeter socket and put it around the outside and basically just tapped it in um, with the sledgehammer. And uh, I probably could have used a little bit larger diameter um, socket, but um, that's the only one I could find. So. Uh, it basically went down far enough to where it started hitting, bottoming out. So um, that piece is in, and uh, now we're going to put the uh, the rod in the back side along with those um, three, these various rings and, and plastic spacer. This thicker one goes in first, and then followed by the uh, the flat metal piece. And then this last piece, when it goes in, the um, the actual ridge faces uh, back towards the rear of the of the motor. So I basically go in like this, and um, it's got that little ridge on it. Okay, so I finally got those three pieces. Uh, the two metal washers and then the rubber washer down at the very bottom plugged in there and then the next thing is there's uh, two washers and a um, and a bearing I think that's a thrust bearing basically it's should be sandwiched in between these two washers what I'm going to do is just flip those down to that position and uh, now the shaft should be ready to uh, go into this upper piece I'm going to put some um, some bearing grease on that and uh, go on to the next step okay second thought on this uh, inner bearing I'm not going to put any grease on that one um, I believe that gets lubricated from the, uh, the hydraulic fluid 
So, yeah, next thing is I'm going to put the, uh, the shaft in there and pound it down and get it uh, flush to this um, surface over here. So that's coming next. Yeah, when I forgot to mention, when you're putting the shaft in the back here, uh, you want to put a little tape on the thread so when it comes through the seal here, it doesn't uh, grip that up. So I tapped in the shaft and I got that piece on there. So uh, the next step is to assemble some of these other um, washers and um, rebuild kit seals. And so um, this is one that came off in this section here. So what I'm going to do is uh, put that back on and then uh, on this unit right here, just make sure you got your, your washer in there and um, you can get that put that section then onto the front end of the uh, the motor so I applied a little bit of grease for this uh, rubber uh, washer here and installed it so now what I'm going to do is as you're assembling this back together make sure that your score along the side of the motor is uh, lining up you know with the score on the very first one so that way um, you know everything's going to go back in perfect alignment to the original tolerances so the next piece i put on is this little tiny sandwich piece and uh, i put a uh, a new rubber gasket on there put the um this uh parker bearing grease on there just to kind of get it all sticky and um, I'm going to take this larger chunk here and um, once again looking at the scoring down the side and aligning you know with the scoring on the side over here I took a few of these bolts out here to make it a little easier to uh, remove some of the remaining pieces but uh, I've got to put the uh, the washer in here and then I'm going to take this piece off and then I'm going to put it down on this stack right here and I also threw a couple bolts in there just to align the last uh, three pieces so those are all lining up with the uh, the score marks so I'm going to put on the fourth piece here okay we got the last piece here put the uh, other washer on there and I'm going to clean up a little bit of dirt up there and it's going on top of this stack notice the uh, the white piece is pointing to the end or the upper piece and um, the rest of the stack is going together nicely so one more piece to go okay so I got the final piece on there got the score marks all lined up I'm gonna tighten up these bolts here and um, call that a completed unit put it back into the dingo and um, see how well it works and uh, we'll have some information on how that's done on working on the dingo as well one last comment when you're uh, tightening up these bolts just go in a star pattern go across um, from each other as uh, you tighten this down you want it to be equally tightened with the similar amount of force as you continue to tighten the whole top and that way uh, when the uh, the metal top compresses down it's going to have equal distribution across all of the uh, the seams on the motor so take your time do the star pandered and uh, you should be fine